2a, addition, whole numbers and decimals. So now we're going to start talking about addition. Addition is just accumulation, tallying things up, totaling, counting, seeing what happens when you put things together. When you're dealing with addition, the result is called the sum. So let's start out with some simple addition and use some pictures or diagrams to help us out. 3 plus 4 equals. So 3 plus 4. So basically all we're doing is we're saying if we have 3 of something and we have 4 more of them, how much do we have in total? What's the total count? So let's say we make these circles. So we have 1, 2, 3 circles. And we have 1, 2, 3, four more circles. How many circles do we have total? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus four gives us a total of seven, giving us seven circles. So the idea of addition is just, if you have something and you have more of it, how much do you have in total? So we can use pictures to do this, but as you can Surmise, if we get into really large numbers, doing pictures might be a little difficult. If we're adding 57 and 69, that's a lot of circles and that's a lot of counting. So there's got to be a better way of doing it. Now, what I will say is that we need to know how to do single number addition. So adding single digit numbers to other single digit numbers. And yes, you can do that by counting, but that's really gonna slow you down and make it more difficult later on. So what we really need to do is we need to practice and get good at doing single number addition because that's the basis of doing all the rest of the division we're gonna do. Any larger numbers come back to adding single digit numbers. So I'm going to make this suggestion that you go to a math facts flashcards type site where you can practice your single digit addition. One that I've found that's really simple to use, does not require you to sign on to anything or sign up for anything that you can use over and over again is factmonsterandmonster.com slash math slash flashcards. It's a really easy site to use. You go to that site and it'll allow you to choose whether you want to deal with addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And it'll allow you to select different levels of difficulty. Now, the nice thing with this is it basically allows you to just say, okay, I want to deal with single digit num numbers for addition. And it gives you a number of them to try. And your, your goal is to see how many can you do in two minutes. So you put in the answers and it'll grade whether they're correct or not, and you'll earn points for getting them correct and however many you get correct. So it's very easy for you to say, to look at it and try the first time and say, oh, well, I got 17 correct. And then the next time you do a little better and I got, well, I got 19 correct. Next time maybe you got 22 correct. So you can see the progress that you're making and it allows you to get those facts down. You may remember seeing addition tables when you were younger and being told, you need to memorize these. Well, I hate to be the one to tell it to you, but you really do need to be able to do single digit addition without having to go through the counting like we did with these, num with these pictures that we did. You really should be able to just recognize 
3 plus 5 is 8. 9 plus 2 is 11. So those things should come to you relatively easily. You don't have to go, I'm saying single digit, but you really should go up to 10, but you don't have to go above 10. 11 times 26, we can do all that by knowing how to do single digit addition. Okay? Everything comes from dealing with single digits. So don't worry about going above and beyond. Get where you can recognize 9 plus 6 is 15. 8 plus 4 is 12. 1 plus 6 is 7. And you can put all those things together. So that's why I'm suggesting factmonster.com slash math slash fastcards and flashcards or any other site that you find that works well for it. Some people use extra math and you can sign up for accounts there, Khan Academy and other things. But like I said, quick, simple, easy, and you don't have to sign up for anything while you do it, but get practice on those addition facts. Once you can do that, any single digit addition isn't a problem. Eight plus three, 11. But you need to know these because once we get into multiple digits, you have to be able to do the single digits yourself and then you can build that to do multiple digits. So let's go to multiple digits. What if I have 35 plus 41? So now I'm to two-digit number added to another two-digit number. Well, you can add like this, and that works fine, and depending how good you are at it, you can get away with that. But a standard method of adding multi-digit numbers is to put them on top of each other, stack them. So 35 plus 41. So now I've got these, and I always want to make sure that the right-hand columns match up and that your digits are matching up here. So it's the right-hand column when you're dealing with whole numbers right there. So now I can just go column by column. 5 plus 1 is 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. So 35 plus 41, 76. But notice, I have to be able to do these additions of single digit numbers in my head. Then I can just build across. Now, sometimes it gets a little more complicated than this. And I'm going to save myself a little bit of writing by not writing them across and then stacking them. I'm just going to stack them because that's what we're going to do anyway. So what if I have 57 plus 96? So now again, two digit numbers. But what happens when I start adding these? 7 plus 6, well that's 13. Well, I'm not going to write 13 down here. What I'm going to do is I'm just dealing with one digit here, so I'm going to write that 3. It's really 13, remember, right? There's a 1 there. It's 13. What I'm going to do with that 1 is I'm going to put it as part of the next column. So 7 plus 6, 13. I'm going to put 3 down here because that 3 is in the 1's place. The 1 of 13 is in the 10's place. So I'm just going to put it there so I can now add it to these other numbers. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. And seeing as there's not another column for me to put it here, I can put that there. And we find out that 57 plus 96 gives us 153. Let's do another example of that. What if I have 285 
plus 49. Again, I'm always lining up that ones column, right? Whole numbers, I'm gonna make sure that right hand side matches up. Basically, you want place values to always be the same. That's the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place. If you slide them either way, you're gonna have a problem. So now I'm gonna go a piece at a time, so I've got five plus nine is 14. Remember, if you know those single digits, then you can do it. So that's 14. I'm gonna bring the one up here. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus four is 13. Three, bring that one up here. One plus two is three. And I have 285 plus 49 is equal to 334. So you see the process that we're working on here? It's going to just keep working itself that way. Add two single digits, get a result. If it became a two digit number, bring that up and add it in the next column. Add those digits, get a result. If it's a two digit number, then bring it up onto the next one. We call those numbers that we're bringing up carries. We have five plus nine is 14. We write down the four and carry the one. One plus eight is nine, plus four is 13. Put the three here and carry the one. One plus two is three. So you've probably heard that before if it was a carry the one as they're adding it. That's what they're doing is they're taking the other digit and they're just putting it into the next column. Well, what happens if we get a big number? That could happen, right? Something really big. Fifty-seven thousand four hundred ninety-one plus twenty-eight thousand three hundred forty-seven. So now I've got this these multi-digit numbers. I mean, we're talking numbers in the tens of thousands, but the process is still the same. One plus seven is eight. 9 plus 4 is 13, carry the 1. <clears throat> 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 7 plus 8 is 15, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So 57,491 plus 28,347 is 85,838. So it doesn't matter how many places I add here, how many, how many digits we have per number, it's the same process. Add the two single digit numbers, get a result. Carry if you have to. Add the two, get a result. Carry if you have to. So. Remember what I said, this is all based on can you add single digit numbers? So you need to be able to do that. Then it's just repeating that process over and over again. Well, how does that change if we go to decimal numbers? Whole numbers, that was pretty straightforward, but what if I have something like this? 4.3 plus 8.6. Well, to be perfectly honest, adding decimal numbers really isn't any different than adding whole numbers. Yes, there's a decimal point in there, but it's still a matter of lining up the place values and adding. The decimal point will stay where it stays. So I would have 4.3 plus 8.6. Now that I've got my tenths places lined up, my ones places lined up, I start again. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus 8 is 12. And the one thing we have to be careful of is we just have to remember there's a decimal point, decimal point, we need the decimal point. 
Okay, these are still the same place values. That's still the tenths, that's still the ones, that's the tens. So we're just going to do the exact same process, only we're going to have a decimal point in there. So line up the place values. I stress the line up the place values because look at what we could end up with. What if I have 6.95? plus 8.4. So now I have these two numbers that I'm going to add. So I go 6.95. Now I want to line up the place values. <clears throat> so this is the ones place. That's the ones place. That's the tenths place, tenths place, hundredths place. So 8.4, the 8 is in the ones place. The 4 is in the tenths place, so I just want to make sure that I get those lined up. So those are ones places, tenths, hundredths. Now one thing that I'm going to suggest with this is anytime you have a different number of decimal places, fill in the missing one with a zero, or missing ones with a zero. It just helps us to keep everything aligned properly and to avoid making simple errors because we don't have anything written down. So now I can just go 5 plus 0 is 5, 9 plus 4 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, and don't forget to fill in that decimal point because we still have the ones place, the tenths place, the hundredths place. So adding decimals really doesn't change anything except for the fact that now we're going to see a decimal point in there. Line up the place values, add one column at a time, and it'll work. But you've got to be able to do single digit addition without having to use a calculator or use other methods or do the counting. Because this would be annoying. Okay, 5 plus 0, that's easy enough. But 9 plus 4, so now we're at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 6, pl uh, 1 plus 6, so that's 7, plus 8. Okay, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? That would just seems very tedious. Whereas if you know those additions by yourself, you can just do it quickly. So the final thing I want to cover here is what if we have more than two numbers that were added. 65 plus 29 plus 17 plus 8 equals. So now I've got four numbers that I'm adding together. Well, the process stays the same. We're just going to do a little bit more work with it. So still, I'm going to stack them. 65, 29, 17, 8, plus. All right, so now I've got these numbers. I've got the ones places lined up, the tens places lined up. So we're good to go. So now we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to add, but we're going to add this whole column. And we're going to do it one number at a time. I should say two numbers at a time, right? We're just going to keep adding a new number to it. So 5 plus 9 is 14. And if you need to put something off to the side, you can say, okay, so that was 14. 14 plus 7. So if you need to come over here and say, okay, 7, well, 4 plus 7 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so now we've got 21. 21 plus 8 Right? 21 plus 8, 1 plus 8 is 9, 2, 2, so we have 29. So we're going to put the 9 here, and we're going to carry the 2. Now that we've carried the 2, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, and so 65 plus 29 plus 17 plus 8 is equal to 119. So it takes just a little bit more work, 
And you may need to kind of come off to the side and do a little bit of helping there, mainly so that you can just remember the numbers you're working with. Some of us can keep those numbers in our mind, and we can just keep adding to the number and adding to the number and adding to the number. Others of us are going to have difficulty remembering what we're adding to, and we're going to get confused along the way. If you're really good at it, you just go, okay, 5 plus 9 is 14, 14 plus 7 is 21, 21 plus 8 is 29, 9, carry the 2. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and we end up with 119. If you're not so good at remembering those numbers, then coming over to the side or on a separate piece of paper and using a little scrap to help us allows us to do those additions. We still need to be able to add single digits in our head, but we can build all of this with just a little bit of more work or a little bit of side scratch work to help us to get through it. So that's addition of whole numbers and decimals.